Peter Hickman's career, combining both road and short circuit racing, is second to none. Fittingly, I'm going to start this film on the mountain section of the TT course, a section that Peter, like rival Michael Dunlop, loves. As we will see later, a good run over this hallowed mountain road has tipped the balance in Peter's favour in key races. Here are 20 clips in course sequence of the Mountain Master at work. Enjoy. Peter comes from a racing background. His father David won the 1977 lightweight Max Grand Prix. So it was perhaps no surprise that Peter would turn his attention to the island and after some notable accomplishments in his rise through the ranks of the British Championship, his TT debut in 2014 was keenly awaited. Three top 15 finishes and the fastest ever newcomer lap was the result. And by 2017, the podium beckoned. Michael Dunlop takes victory, Peter Hickman takes second, and Dean Harrison third. Incredibly, this was the last of five podiums Peter achieved this year, and it would win him the prestigious Joey Dunlop Trophy for combined results in the main solo classes. No, you're not seeing double here. This is actually Peter going through the 13th milestone on two separate practice laps in 2022. Inch perfect both times. 
and here is local legend Connor Cummins trying to straight line the corner a bit too much. Closer to the edge you might say, on a blind corner with no curbstones, just road then hedge and the ride is shaving off as much of the corner as they dare. Here's a superb fast line from Jamie Coward. He gets very close to the hedge, tucking his knee in at last minute. David Johnson lying sixth in the race, followed by Hickman, who after a bad start, running straight on up the slip road at Braddon Bridge, has fought his way up to third. It is Dean Harrison who leads, by four seconds from Michael Dunlop. And here we see Peter overtaking David in a lovely manoeuvre going into the veranda. Peter has had a storming second lap and by the end of it leads Harrison by 1.2 seconds with Dunlop a further 1.8 seconds adrift in third. Johnson, Rutter and Hillier make up the top six. But a great mid-race pit stop would leapfrog Michael into the lead for much of lap three and by the time they reached the mountain again it was desperately close. The final lap is nip and tuck between Dunlop and Hickman, Peter leading by just 0.146 of a second going on to the final mountain run. Fastest ever mountain sector time earns Peter his first TT win. And it's a class lap record too at 134.403 miles per hour. Dunlop is second 4.4 seconds back, followed by Harrison, Johnson, Hillier and Rutter. Peter has been Triumph Daytona mounted for his last four Supersport TT campaigns. Here, for your delight is a short compilation 
of this great rider and bike combination. After the breakthrough TT win in the 2018 Superstock race, a few days later all eyes were on him for the meeting's grand finale, the senior race. A race that is now etched in the annals of TT history, one of the great races of all time. Ian Hutchardson ahead on the road here of Hickey. But as you see this scene unfold, Peter executes another superb outside pass going onto the veranda. Dean Harrison is the early race leader, building on an opening lap of 133.678 miles per hour. Hickey is second, 1.4 seconds behind, with Connor Cummins third. An incredible last lap run over the mountain gives Peter the win from Dean by just two seconds, with the added bonus of a new outright lap record, the first 135 mile an hour lap, 135.452 miles per hour.
Peter leads after two laps from Dean Harrison. Michael Dunlop has taken over third spot after the retirement of Padgett's duo of Connor Cummins and Davy Todd. And here is the man who has inherited third, Michael Dunlop. He's looking a bit out of sorts on the superbike this year by his high standards. Behind it's John McGuinness and Peter Hickman. Peter's lining up for yet another overtake at the Black Hut. The order at the front is still Hickman, Harrison and Dunlop. Peter now leading by an extended margin of over 30 seconds. But he simply can't get rid of Michael Dunlop who is tracking him behind and now closing in on second place Harrison. Here in this slow motion clip we can see one of the many hazards TT riders face. If you look towards the top left of the screen, several birds fly across Hickey's path. Bird strikes are quite common at the TT, often resulting in injury to the rider or damage to the bike. And Dean Harrison would be a victim of such a collision, thankfully without injury, in the senior TT. Well, it's something of a textbook win for Peter in the end, but all the more impressive when you look at the greats who are behind him. Well, we've already seen some great overtaking from Peter on the mountain section. And here's another example from the first Supersport race in 2022. Peter has clearly got a great run through the 30 second milestone and is on the left looking to get alongside Davy Todd, who is in turn trying to reel in Gary Johnson. Literally right in front of me, Hickman starts to edge past. And how great it is to see these two British Championship and Road Race stars together on the mountain riding at such close quarters. The pass sticks and on they go towards the 33rd milestone.
having had limited success in the Super Twin class on Kawasaki and Norton machinery, for 2022, Peter was aboard a pattern, and he topped the practice leaderboard. Peter finished third in the first 2022 Supersport race and Friday's second race turned into another epic Dunlop-Hickman duel. Dunlop secured victory over Peter by just 3.3 seconds. And Kevin Peter was in this heavy traffic on lap 2. Maybe in this instance, his high start number of 10 may have worked against him. Well, there really was no stopping Peter in this race and he took a comfortable win, becoming only the fourth rider in TT history to win four races in one week. Some achievement. Dean Harrison was second in spite of a mid-race bird strike, Connor Cummins was third and Davy Todd fourth. And here we are back on the mountain where this film began 
looking at Peter's list of TT achievements. And my thoughts cannot help but turn to the 12-year-old Peter Hickman, someone saving up all his pocket money for his first £50 shell of a bike. And what a journey he's gone on to get to where he is now. This relaxed and personable character, living life to the full and living the dream. And all that's left to do is put your hands together and say, Peter Hickman, take a bow. <laughs>